Good morning from BBC London News, I'm Catherine Carpenter. Another union says its members will join industrial action over plans for the night tube. £1.2 million of funding for the gaming industry could bring investment and hundreds of jobs to the capital, according to the mayor. And a man whose foundation has invested £100 million in education in London and Essex is to receive a knighthood. Now let's take a look at the travel situation. There's been an accident at Lewisham Park. It means traffic is queuing northbound on Lewisham High Street. There's also a broken down car on nearby Catford Road, which is blocking a lane westbound at Rushy Green. Over in Ealing, there's heavy traffic on the North Circular at Ealing Common. That's because of a traffic light failure. Now, time for a check on the weather with Elizabeth Rizzini. That's all for now, but I'll be back with another update from the BBC London newsroom in half an hour's time. Until then, plenty more on our website. Bye for now. Good morning from BBC London News. I'm Catherine Carpenter. Another union says its members will join industrial action over plans for the night tube. £1.2 million of funding for the gaming industry could bring investment and hundreds of jobs to the capital, according to the mayor. A last look at the travel situation. Greater Anglia and Stansted Express have half-hour delays between Liverpool Street and Stansted Airport in Cambridge. That's because of a points failure. Out on the roads, and this is Barking, where a lane of the A13 is blocked at Movers Lane because of an accident. There's congestion to the ferry lane interchange. One lane of the M25 is closed clockwise because of a broken down lorry between Junction 5 for the M26 and Clackett Lane services. And in Croydon there are delays on Coombe Road at Park Hill Road because of telecoms work. The queues are from Addington. Today's weather now. I'll be back with our lunchtime news at 1.30. Do join me then. Bye bye for now. Welcome to BBC London News. I'm Catherine Carpenter. The Conservative candidate for mayor, Zach Goldsmith, has presented his four-point action plan for London. At a formal campaign launch, he promised measures on housing, transport, the environment and people's safety. He's behind in the polls and attacked his Labour rival for being Corbyn's candidate. Our political editor, Tim Donovan, reports from Croydon. Jack Petchy is a name with which some London schoolchildren will be familiar. Over the years, the philanthropist has invested £100 million in education in the capital and Essex. Now, his generosity has resulted in him being named in the New Year's Honours list, and Caroline Davies went to meet him. Another union says its members will join industrial action over plans for the night tube. £1.2 million of funding for the gaming industry could bring investment and hundreds of jobs to the capital, according to the mayor. A new report out today hopes to improve relationships between football clubs and their fans. One of the issues it looks at is how supporters groups might be able to buy their clubs in the future. Our sports reporter Sarah Orchard was at AFC Wimbledon for today's announcement. Sarah Orchard reporting there. A new exhibition at Charles Dickens' home in Holborn will take visitors behind the scenes of a popular BBC drama called Dickensian. Costumes, props and parts of the set will all be on display and Aisha Baksh has been to take a look. Now time to take a look at the weather with Elizabeth Rizzini. And that's about it from me, Riz Latif. will be here with our programme at 6.30 this evening. Until then, you can keep up to date with everything on our website at the usual address. But for now, from all of us, do have a very good afternoon. Bye-bye.